Good day, everyone. On behalf of Rudder, I'd like to thank you for attending our webinar today entitled Radar Innovations for ICE Operations. Um, we do have a fairly deep dive into uh, the application for you. Uh, we're going to try to cover that in about 20 minutes, uh, leaving 10 minutes at the end for questions. And please utilize the uh, Q&A button at the bottom of your screen. And we will uh, obviously collate them and try to get them answered at the end of uh, the session. If by chance we don't get to them today, um, rest assured that we will follow up uh, with a video of this presentation as well as the questions addressed. And uh, if there's something else that we can do for you, certainly just contact us at rudder.ca and we will follow up uh, as soon as possible. In the meantime, I'd like to uh, introduce Ina Edigas. Uh, Ina is our expert for ICE Navigator, and she is on deck and uh, ready to share her knowledge with you. So without further ado, I'll pass this over to Ina. Ina, good morning. Thanks, Derek, for the introduction. Good day, good afternoon, wherever you are based. Um, thank you very much for joining this webinar of Radar Innovations for ICE Operations. My name is Ina Alfreist and I'm working as sales representative at Rutter. This webinar will cover and explain in more detail about Rutter's enhanced radar technology and their Sigma S6 ICE navigator respectively. Going one slide further, here we go. Um, First, I would like to briefly introduce Rutter and its subsidiary to you. Rutter is based in Canada in St. John's, Newfoundland and has been incorporated in 1998. Rutter is specialized in advanced radar processing for all eyes and small target detection. Its subsidiary, Ocean Waves, is based in Lüneburg, Germany, as you also can see here on this little map in the lower corner, where the icon of Rutter, company icon of Rutter and the company logo of Ocean Waves is given. Ocean Waves is, has been incorporated in 2000 and has been acquired by Rutter in 2012. Ocean Waves is specialized in advanced radar processing for real time wave and surface current monitoring. As you already learned, Rata is offering, supplying, developing advanced and enhanced radar technology, the so called Sigma S6. They are using the raw radar of the navigational expand radar and doing high definition processing and offering high imaging capability. The X-band radar is being used due to the wavelength characteristics. And by having the rise applications, um, we are able to monitor the environment. Rata is involved in researching and is always improving the Sigma S6 technology. We are part of national and international research projects, and we work closely together with the customer. Um, within the maritime industry, we have experienced more than 20 years um, by, as you learned, the companies has been founded in 1998 and 2000. We are servicing the oil and gas industry, the maritime shipping industry, we work with seismic operations together, security defense. We are part of offshore construction, cruise and yacht industries, etc., to name some. To give you briefly an uh, overview first, um, over the last 20 years, there have been many improvements and innovations made to the standard marine radar. But in terms of specialized and advanced solutions, one of the first leaps forward was the creation of the ice radar. The early ice radars were simple instruments at that time, using the existing radar on a vessel to which a processor was attached that took advantage of computing power of that time. 
In addition, position information was made available through GPS and gyro. Actually, what Rada is doing is to enhance the capabilities of the standard marine navigation radars. And the advantage of it is that no additional hardware in respect of radar is needed. Rata's Sigma S6 system connects with the existing navigational radar available as indicated on this slide here. You see the radar and then the Sigma S6 data processor coming along with monitor, keyboard, and trackball. And we can connect to either the existing navigational radar or to a dedicated radar, which could be provided by Rata. We can connect to analog or digital radars, to horizontal or vertically polarized antennas. And um, it is also able to switch from X band to S band, for example. Rata was one of the first companies to enter into the space and market with their Sigma S6 ice navigator. And this might also have been driven by the icebergs around Newfoundland and St. John's, I imagine. Anyone who has seen a presentation from Rata in the past were sure to have seen a comparison between a standard marine radar here shown on the left side and Rata's enhanced imaging capability from the St. Lawrence Seaway. The Rata image is on the right side. Rata's Sigma S6 system technology was improving the quality of the radar imaging to support the navigation through ice covered areas. And the differences are clearly visible as indicated here by the arrows and the red circles. You can see much better the ice ridges on the Rata image radar image and you can also clear, uh, see, clearly see, sorry, clearly see the um, harbor entrance, harbor facilities. Another example of the advanced radar image is shown here. While not displaying ice, it gives a good example of the power of enhanced radar technology. Displaying small objects in the water and enhancing the overall situation awareness. This is due to scan averaging and special processing. The Sigma S6 technology is presenting much more details than a standard radar is able to. As you can see here in comparison, um, the left image from a standard marine navigational radar is rather noisy and the right image when doing the scan averaging and special processing, you can see much more details like the navigational route, like the navigational markers, like wave actions on, in shallow waters. This slide shall give you an idea about specialized detection and tracking of Rutter's technology versus ARPA tracker. Ice type and size is given here on the left side. Let me see, where's my mouse? Here you see this Bergy bit crawler and the size is one to five meter or smaller than one meter. Um, the very right column presents the detection capability of the standard navigation radar. You see this here. And um, this here now marked is uh, what the Rata Sigma 6 ice navigator will give you and what is um, with which kind of um, detection capability the radar is able to detect Bergy bit and growlers. As you might realize, the Sigma 6 ice navigator detects smaller objects at longer ranges in comparison, more than four nautical miles in comparison to. 0.5 to 1 nautical miles, for example. I also would like to give you some more background information. As you know, in the last five years, there has been another technology shift in computing with highly capable GPUs available on the market. 
the enhanced imaging used by systems like the early ICE radars have led to an industry of special radar applications that take advantage of the same marine expand radar to not just image, but to measure, analyze and monitor the ocean surface for many applications around the world. For RATA, this led to their Sigma 6 suite of radar applications spanning from ice detection to oil spill detection to small target surveillance to wave and surface current monitoring to high resolution current to deterministic wave detection as well as prediction to wave prediction sorry to the location at the vessel. About the ice navigator we will talk later on in more detail but I also would like to briefly introduce RATA's various products to you like their oil spill detection system to detect, outline and track oil spills, their small target surveillance system to detect and track multiple small targets, their wave and surface current monitoring system, VAMOS2, to monitor sea state conditions in real time, their current monitor to detect surface currents in bathymetry on a high resolution, the wave vision system to detect waves deterministically, and last but not least, their new product, which just has been released, Sigma S6 wave signal. This is to predict waves up to 180 seconds in advance at the location of the vessel. But for this presentation, I would like to talk about radar innovations for ICE operations and the Sigma 6 ICE navigator in more detail. As earlier mentioned, the ICE navigator is able to detect ICE at longer ranges and analyzes ICE characteristics. To look into features and values, the ICE navigator is best in class ICE detection solution for ICE management ice breaking, adventure tourism and port access. It's a bolt on upgrade to existing marine radars. It could be integrated and um, interfaced with X-band radar by switching to S-band radar. It is ideal for offshore oil and gas platforms, supply ships, icebreakers, Arctic cruise ships, etc. The list is long. It mitigates the risk of ice encounters. It supports decision making while operating in ice. It detects smaller ice objects at farther ranges and in better details. You saw that already. And it assures 24 seven real time visibility, even in harsh conditions or during low visibility. In more detail, the values and features of the ICE navigator are as follows. The system enhances ICE imaging, targeting and analyzes to enable safe vessel operations in ICE regions. It automatically detects and tracks icebergs, bergy bits and growlers in real time. It differentiates between open water, ice pans, ice ridges that impact operations. It can be integrated and interfaced to electro-optical infrared cameras for target verification. You can overlay AIS for class A and B targets. You have the possibility, the possibility to for chart underlay by using CMAP. This is optional. And um, you can configure acquisition and guard zones for automatic alarming detection and tracking. All data is available in open standards for use in external common operating picture and geographic information systems. As more processing power became available, more detection capabilities were possible. Rata identified that the standard target detection and tracking of their ICE navigator could be improved 
to also find small, low freeboard ice fragments. This led to specialized detection and tracking functionalities for their ice navigator by also further analyzing the ice conditions. One can actually say that um, Rata's ice navigator has advanced the art, moving past simple, but still enhanced, imaging and targeting to give you analysis of ice conditions. Here, you see the detection of icebergs embedded in ice flows. So this is the overall radar image, and this is a zoom in that you see more clearly what is meant by that. This slide here is an example of ice ridge detection with an ice flow. And here you see open water leads in pack ice detected and further outlined, also a bit colored in a kind of purple color, as you can see here. This certainly helps to navigate better and easier through pack ice conditions, as you would prefer to travel through those open water leads. Another feature, which is optional as add-on, is the ice drift analyzer. The ice drift analyzer is, gives you the operator exceptional visibility and information on the movement of ice flows or flow segments, gives real-time processing of speed and direction of ice flows, improves navigation through drift ice and supports in ice management, helps optimizing route planning while navigating through ice, like optimizing speed, efficiency, safety when encountering ever shifting sea ice. Uh, the ice breaking operations will benefit from the knowledge of direction and speed of ice flows in order to effectively cut an upstream grid. And um, ice flow size and stage of development can be derived and make available to digital ice charts. Each Sigma 6 system comes standard with Sigma 6 Connect. Sigma 6 Connect is an interface that uses open data protocol standards and the data can then be integrated in ArcGIS or Google Earth Pro, for example. Sigma S6 Connect can be configured to include and output radar imagery like GeoTIFF, PNG, JPEG files, or that track targets, ice features, iceberg scrollers, or also oil spill outlines, oil spill areas, volumes, etc., can be outputted as GML, KML, DXF, or S3. Now I would like to show you some use cases, especially in the context of radar innovations for ice operations. This is at the port of Vladivostok and this bluish arrow shall give you an idea where the radar is placed. I'm starting now this movie here and you nicely and clearly can see how the ice, let me show this here, here how the ice is drifting and flowing into the shipping channel. You can also see some vessels going into the harbor here. You also might realize that for some vessels like here, the ship wake can clearly be seen. This is one example where the ice navigator can be of use that you get, a, a, can, yeah, can be useful, sorry. Um, that you get a better idea about the ice within the shipping channel. Here you see um, two vessels as another example. And on those two vessels, there are the ice navigator installed. One is the research vessel Polar Stern, which is a German research icebreaker. And you might have heard that, that 
she was uh, 12 to 14 months long on a multidisciplinary drifting of the Vettori expedition across the Arctic. And the aim was drifting with the ice flow. After 389 days, this Arctic expedition successfully ended last October when the research vessel safely returned to its home port of Bremerhaven in Germany. The other example is the Sir David Attenborough. This is the new polar research vessel owned by the Natural Environment Research Council to be operated by the British and Arctic Survey of UK for the purpose of both research and logistics support. In February, um, the ship undertook the first sea trials in and around the Irish Sea. And in November, it is scheduled that the vessel will make its maiden voyage to the Antarctic for extensive ice trials. The vessel's missions are critical for understanding and making sense of our changing climate. Another example is the Yamal LNG project. The first phase is already finished and finalized. This was between 2016 and 2018. 15 installations have taken place and each vessel is installed with two Sigma S6 ice navigators, one and the aft, the other in the front for forward looking. The second phase is uh, up and running until 2023. 70 plus vessels are under construction and Rutter already delivered two systems for this phase already. Again, two Sigma S6 ice navigators for each vessel. The reason is, as the sea road is very icy, they wanted really to see the ice surrounding the vessel from each angle. To come almost to the end of the presentation, all rudder products can be integrated into one single solution on a single user interface connected to one expand radar. Means you can combine the ice navigator with, for example, oil spill detection. You can combine the ice navigator with the VAMOS system, so with wave monitoring or you can combine oil spill with wave monitoring, just to give you a slight idea of what is possible. As you can imagine, and as in business for more than 20 years, the list of references of ice navigator installations is long. Rata has globally installations, so to speak, over 14 countries and seven seas. Hundreds of polar cargo vessels, icebreakers, oil rigs, expedition cruise vessels, polar research vessels, etc., are equipped with Rutter's Sigma S6 ice navigator. Here are some organizations, corporations, partners, companies listed as an X curve to give you an idea with whom Rutter is working. This actually leads me to the end of my presentation. I would like to thank you. Thank you very much for your attention and attending this webinar about radar innovations for ICE operations. Thank you. I hand over to Derek. Thank you very much, Ina. I really appreciate that. I really found it very insightful. I hope everybody did. We had some questions um, come in um, that I was able to directly answer. There was a couple of questions about whether or not uh, these products could work together, which you covered off a little bit later on. And of course they can, they can work independently or in concert. Um, there was some so, uh, there was a couple of people who were interested in, uh, in having uh, a conversation after the event, which we'll be happy to do. If anybody has any specific questions, uh, now would be a good time to raise your hand and I'll get those addressed for you. Um, but what will happen in the event that um, uh, you have questions that we don't get to right now, 
uh, we want to be uh, cognizant of your time. Um, we will respond. You will get a response after the webinar anyways and uh, to let us to give us some feedback. And if you have questions, then, then that would be fine to, uh, to get back to us. If, uh, I'll, I'll just leave it open for a few minutes to, to see if anybody has anything specific. <clears throat> I stopped screen sharing here. Okay. Can I also see any questions? Let me see here. Uh, yes, yeah, so uh, we had one question. Can it be used with X-band radar or does it have to be a uh, 25 kilowatt radar? Yeah. Hello? Yeah, we are using x band radar and um, so minimum requirements are actually um, uh, six feet antenna and um, 10 kilowatt transceiver power, but recommended would actually um, an eight foot antenna and uh, 25 kilowatt. So the longer, the better, the more power, the better. I mean, it really depends on that uh, if you have more power and you, you will see more in the radar image. Uh, we had another question. Uh, does it take months to become an expert in interpreting the radar of what? Um, good question. Does, does, does it require uh, a lot of in-depth in training or how, how does it work? Yeah. Interesting question. Thank you very much for that. Um, well, I mean, when uh, the system is being installed, the crew will certainly get an um, user training. Um, this will start with a brief introduction while the technician is on board and in, is installing the um, system. But Rata also offers uh, a more in-depth operator training and uh, will then explain to the operator in more detail what could be done with the system and how to interpret the uh, radar output. This could be a training including and excluding troubleshooting. I just wanted to make a note. I have a number of people ask me if the presentation will be available for download. And of course, it will. I will, uh, I will get that out to everybody either today or tomorrow. So I just wanted to just alleviate any concerns anyone has there. Um, we had another question, Ina. Are the results comparable for third party radars as compared to a dedicated X band radar? I guess are you getting the same results? Yeah, yeah, well, I mean, um, there are performance reports, uh, Rata did, what you will get and see when you are just using the navigational radar or when you are using um, the Rata radar. And um, you have performance differences from um, radars when you are using just an example, yeah, when you are losing, using JRC radar or Sperry radar or Kevin Hughes radar or Raytheon radar, I mean, because they work differently, but um, the differences, let me say, are slightly. Okay, if, if, if someone would like a, a deeper explanation, I'm sure we can address that. Ina, does Sigma-6, um, S6 measure ice pressure? No. <laughs> Clearly say no, because I mean, expand radar uh, does uh, reflect and scatter back from the sea surface. So we cannot look into that ice, neither can we then detect the ice pressure. That's a good question though. Thank you very much for asking. Uh, does Rudder have any data on how the performance of the system might degrade with sea state? Not sure I, if I understand this question. I mean, the sea state, and this is the advantage of the ice radar now, um, this is um, filtered out, so to speak. So there's no sea clutter information into those um, radar images. So um, even if you are in stronger, stronger seas and, and stronger wave conditions, you definitely will clearly see the ice as the ice is a hard target, which is easily to be detected. Okay. Hope answers the question. Uh, another interesting question, is Ice Navigator able to differentiate between old and new ice? 
Um, whew, this is also an interesting question and um, maybe uh, difficult to answer, but I would say yes, due to, I mean, as the ice navigator is able to detect ice ridges, which is already older ice, and the ice navigator can also detect younger ice. So yeah, I would say um, yes, this is possible. Okay. Um, another question here, is the signal analysis able to reliably distinguish between open water, smooth level ice, and surfaces shaded by higher features? Can you repeat this? Where can yes, I find is, is the signal analysis able to reliably distinguish between open water, smooth level ice and surfaces shaded by higher features. So if you're getting shadows or uh, whatnot, uh, can we can ice navigator distinguish between the various uh, types of water or leads or smooth level ice or whatever the case is? Can we use yeah. yeah, sorry. I yeah. would say uh, due to that, I guess this is the example with the uh, open water leads, the example with the icebergs embedded in packed ice, um, with the example of ice ridges, I mean, this can all be done. So you will definitely see the differences, what is out there if you have then uh, both together the iceberg and the open water lead and both is then detected certainly simultaneously at the same time. Uh, again, folks, if, if the question is an answer specifically, please get back to me and I'll, uh, I'll dig a little deeper and make sure we get the specific answers you're looking for. Uh, we got time for one more question and, and this is a good one. How much time is usually needed for installation um, uh, for the, of the radar? Uh, let me just get that again. How much time is usually needed for installation? Is there any training offered and needed? How's that? Um, so the installation takes about um, two days. Um, the technician, certainly the certified, certified radar technician will take care of that, will um, connect the system to the navigational radar, to the radar, to the expand radar, and will do then the commissioning setup and um, yeah, the installation. As said, will take two days. This is also to cover that everything is running smoothly um, and then also included in this, this, this brief uh, user training. Okay. All right, folks, thank you very much. We, we, we did want to try to keep, uh, to keep it on time, being aware of, of your schedules. And we do really appreciate you taking time to join us today. And uh, thank you for uh, a great overview. We really appreciate that. Um, if you have further questions or if there's anything that um, you didn't see addressed here that you'd like to, as I indicated, there will be a follow-up um, contact made. Uh, I will I'll do my best to uh, get this, this video back out to everybody who attended. And if you do have any other questions, please feel free to contact us at rudder.ca or sales at rudder.ca and uh, we will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you very much, folks, and stay tuned. Hopefully, there will be other sessions of, of similar interest that uh, we'd like to, uh, to get out to you, and uh, we will let you know as soon as that's available. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks Cheers. for joining. Thanks. Thanks.